And what would you have done if you walked out and saw that size of bear with his head in your wall going in? What would you have done? A bear claws its way into a Pigeon Forge family's home last week. Everyone is okay, but a chunk of the house is gone. 10 News reporter Katie Inman talked to that family who says they were scared but relieved no other damage was done. When the Forbes woke up Saturday morning, they had no idea the kind of visitor they would have knocking on the back of their house, making a hole in it, too. I look around the corner and what do you see? A bear. Weighing more Sitting right there. than 300 pounds. With a grin on his face. Susan Forbes says the bear tried to force its way in through a hole it had created in her siding. See here? The, the holes. This was gone and this was gone and this was gone. She picked up the phone and called the Pigeon Forge Police Department. He tried sirens. He tried every little button he had on there. One button got him. He got off the steps and walked around to the back of that little porch there and laid down. When TWRA got there and he saw the tranquilizer guy come out and he knew what that gun was. He got up and ran down this hill. Officers were able to put the bear to sleep and relocate it. They got him, took three huge darts to get him down. Susan says she had no trash around her house and can only guess what the bear was after. Well, I've had guys say there could be termites somewhere or there could be ants. For now, all the Forbes can do is board up the hole and hope they don't have an encounter like this again. They can come and go through this yard anytime they want to, just don't eat my house. In Pigeon Forge, Katie Inman, 10 News. And of course, the park always recommends if you see a bear, do not approach it. Contact the proper authorities. A lot of people online were concerned since the bear had two tags on its ears. That meant it would be put down because of a three strikes you're out policy. But the National Parks website says that is a myth. The Park Service tags and tattoos bears for identification, not to measure offenses.